welcome to the FS Show, featuring your host, Simulation for the Nation. Ladies and gentlemen, this could be interesting. What's going on? Hope you're all doing very well. Simulation for the Nation here. Uh, full disclosure, Windows did a big update with me on during the week there, and it just changed everything. The whole thing went. So uh, I don't know where this is going to go. You don't know where this is going to go, but we're in this together. That's the main thing. I hope you're all doing very well today. I am SFD, and we're coming live to you from the Jerry Man's Diary off camera. And before we do anything, let's say hello to the folks who are here. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. The early bids are Rory and Kian Farmer Noah. Hope you're doing very well. We've got Thomas here. We've got Ryan Williams here as well. What's going on, Ryan? We've got... Uh, who else have we got coming here? We've got Max, we've got Lee, we've got William, we've got Wilshire as well, Stevens here as well, Farm in Northern Ireland. Welcome along, guys. Hope you're all doing very well there today. We've got Evans and Health, Fisher Jays here as well. Watch out, the trouble is now officially here. Uh, Texas 72 is here as well. Hope you're all doing very well. Welcome along, everyone, for the members. There you go. That works at least. That's a good sign. And uh, we're going to get stuck on into it as well here, I think. So we'll bring up the screen that was already here. Uh, we'll see how we're going. What's going on, Alex Media? Hope you're doing very well. And Cathair as well. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and we're gonna get stuck into it. Finn, how you doing? Mark5610, welcome, welcome. Good to have you all here. Let me know if you can hear me okay and everything's sounding good. That will be the first step to achieve. Uh, I hate Windows. Can we just all take a minute to say, God damn it. Everything goes so well and then you just decide to update everything and reset the whole work. So that's good. I recorded an entire video the other day with uh, another single bit of sound. That was fun. Uh, speaking of sound, just some... Uh, Heavy guitar in the background there, shall we? Roll VT, you know it. All right, you. Let's get going. Hello, Ollie. How you doing, buddy? Welcome along. It has been a while. I'm doing very well. I hope you are all good. Uh, all right, let's go. We're gonna. So today, uh, let's have a look at a bit of a plan here. First of all, look at all that red from nitrogen. You can see which fields I've worked in. Good lord. Uh, all right, so. We have got a few fields raked up right to bail. Uh, we have a lot more that we want to mow. Today I'm going to mow 42 and 43. Uh, we'll get those two raked up as well. And we'll take the mowers up to here to get some done around about the farm too. So we can also have a look to see what state that's in as well. Because coming up in the video soon, we're going to be doing a little bit more work around that one. So we need to make sure that's all good to go. But now though, let's get ourselves stuck in. And what I have done straight off the hop here is change... That to there. Tractor 72, how you doing, buddy? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope all is well. Obi Farming, hello, hello. What's going on, my friend? Welcome along. Does this still sound very quiet? Let me see. Alright, we'll try that. There you go. Let me know how everything comes through, as I say. Yeah, just turn that one up there for you. Actually, it was a little quiet. Should be better now. open so how's everyone's week been what have we been looking at before i go any further we're gonna get this tractor into the field and i'm gonna stop and have a quick look at something uh, i released the video yesterday which was the first look if you haven't seen it yet do go back and watch it there's some new machines coming from smi modern uh kabam uh so let's have a look at this before we go any further we're just gonna release it all it was the uh it's a new collaborate collaboration with ma ag uh and it's two parts you got a, a fantastically detailed well looking uh good looking subsoil which is great but then the second part is perfect uh we'll have a look at at least these and we'll just have a bit of a play around with them and this guy as well the feeding system on there gotta love to see that and we need a tractor to have a play with that as well so we'll go big do you watch a monaco grand prix do you know what i haven't watched a grand prix in a while it must be said uh, how did it go Dundee sounds great. It is a beaut. It is an absolute gem of a machine. Um, we'll lease this as well because why the heck not? I'll have to just pay back that money. Perfect. So yeah, we're just going to have a bit of a play around with this. Like I say, it's coming to PC only. Uh, there is a video up on my channel as of yesterday about it, so I encourage you to go and check that one out there. But I just want to shed a little bit more light because yeah, this is beautiful. Uh, I'm just after buying that 6M series that you have in Dairyman's Diary. Be nice! I had to get rid of my uh, massive because it was crap. It's a, it, it's a great 6M. Well, I use the 4 in this series as well. It works very, very well, actually. It's fantastic for it. Great little uh, load of tractor to have around the place. Uh, but yeah, so here we go. We'll just get this all connected up. Hello, young farmer. What's going on, buddy? How you doing? Hope you're good. Now. 
this can be a uh well there is a cultivator so it acts as a plow it's the um the well the subsoil acts as a plow you've got a cultivator and you can also drill grass canola oilseed radish and wheat with the uh with the press on the back there so that is all pretty cool uh but yeah the detail on this is what i just want to kind of bring you to it has a couple of scripts in it which make it even more interesting to play around with there uh so there's a an agent script and also a uh an automatically lowering uh, once it's in the ground which is kind of cool hello roleplay gamer it's going well buddy how are you today i hope all is good kian's here as well as ethan what's going on fellas how are you farmer Noah? welcome back uh but yeah this is just a beautiful bit of kit things to look out for on this when it's released on the mod very shortly the attention to detail around all of the bolts and the hydraulic lines going through there which i think just looks brilliant really really does the individual animation of the discs as well that's kind of neat to see that i love that a lot but yeah just a very very nice looking bit of equipment so i just want to show that off a little bit more there before we get going frank's won the lottery i wish could you imagine could you imagine one of these fences around about 500 grand in real life i think it's incredible amounts of money uh and yeah we'll be looking good so yeah like I say, first of many collaborations between SMI Modding and uh, MA Ag, so we'll have to see where that goes. Now, where do I go to? Into the field we go. Fire up the old 68 again, get the mowers going. All right then. So question for you all there who are anyone who's involved with a farm in real life have you got on with any grass yet are you nearly there have you started what's the what's the future looking like there do let me know and uh, we're going to try and get this field done like i say field 43 as well and maybe a couple over at the new uh farm too as well i always like to try again But yeah, so I've already got the other two raked up. So we'll be doing a bit of mowing today. We're going to do a little bit of raking today. We're going to get some baling done as well. Uh, and then there'll be a video coming out tomorrow on uh, Dairyman's Diary with the latest as well. It is pretty epic, uh, that roleplay. It is good. Glad to hear all as well as well. No, no silage yet. It's too wet still. Oh, that's rubbish. Hopefully, well, wet is good. It means you get a little bit more growth. I can't remember the exact saying, but rain in May means wheat and hay in June or something. Salad is all done. Nice. How many acres do you do, Stephen? That's good news. Great to see. Nice to be able to kind of get a good start on it. Oh, all right, kid. No worries. We'll be here. we're gonna try and plow through this field as quickly as possible has anyone got heard of agri farmer 203 no don't do tiktok you bought a new trailer evan what type of trailer just rain in england <laughs> why is that not surprising carrick what's going on buddy how you doing today welcome to the stream my man hope all is well happy saturday to you this is the only day we'll be lifting this week or oh, we'll be streaming this week sorry i think got lifting silage on my mind um we will be maybe actually that's a lie the only day we'll be streaming this weekend we'll probably be back on tuesday i would reckon rain in may fills the bomb with corn hey yes ryan thank you thank you that's it yeah you want a nice bit of rain but you also want some good heat and a bit of good drying weather a bit nice grown weather there to really max it out and no no mice like they seem to have in australia which is just bonkers since the last stream that we had there i looked into that good lord uh i don't anymore thin no used to up until oh, i don't know about 10 years ago i live in canada now i thought it's about 90 acres nice not a bad amount to get going with not bad at all so we're gonna do six headlands here nice three times around with the fellas uh and then we're gonna get ourselves on to a little bit awkward shaped fields around here so we'll just get these done in the most efficient manner that we can do that field over the road there and then we'll go and do crack on with a few more get the rakes in as well so oh i just want to get a few of them bailed around here then we'll have to get them all stacked up as well and that's for another day is that cedar coming out soon or is the cedar already out that cedar uh, roleplay is 
in testing as of yesterday with giants so depending upon how quickly giants can release that it is only gonna be pc because there's a few scripts in there as well and at this stage any new brands giants aren't really going to be looking to license those at the moment there or try and get them through unless they were to change it to lizard of course uh but yeah giants would be because we're so close to the uh the fs22 there's not gonna be any new brands there so it's um it won't become the console but for the upc users it is very very good very very good indeed was my dream fleet i would love to have a fleet of masses i really would that'd be quite nice uh although the new fence looked pretty darn tasty i must admit Got, uh, a friend of mine sent me some pictures of their fleet the other day love it love it love it love it the new 74s that are coming around happily have a fleet of those one's a great silage and the other's a dumper nice heaven cool if you ever want to do uh, post some pictures into my discord of those uh kind of share your stories of what's going on always love to see those what mowers are they uh oh uh, ob these are the fella mowers by vertex designs part of the fella pack which is available on the mod hub for all uh, platforms i do believe uh screw it we'll just kind of go roughly down there because that'll be somewhat square there you go although our house next door it knocked down one of the walls oh Pressure from what there, sorry. Alright then. Flying through. We've got 45 people in chat. Thank you everybody. Welcome along. We've got 21 likes, so if you haven't done so, you know what to do. Hit that button. We're gonna be going for about another hour and ten minutes or so. Favorite vintage brand of machinery international for me. Uh, I learned to drive on an international 434 and a 276 back in the day. Uh, so yeah, they have a, uh, will always have a place in my heart, those, uh, old rigs. Pretty much as soon as I could, was, uh, tall enough to touch the pedals, I, I was lit, I thrust onto an international 434 in the middle of a, a field with round bales. Uh, and first thing I had to do was show that I could actually, uh, or learn how to drive it. Uh, and learn how to stop the tractor and uh, handle the tractor and then I had to learn how to navigate around a few bales and my dad set up a few different obstacle courses if you like and then the next thing I had to do was clear the field of bales and just keep going doing that so that's exactly what we did oh no way Stephen you knocked on a wall in the pit good lord catch you later Evan we'll see you in a bit my friend the, I te no Mark you didn't let me know B275, nice. We had a. It was. I think we. My uncle either had one of those or a B276, maybe? But yeah, it was, we had, there was a B series floating around somewhere which had an old little front loader on as well. Handy little thing. We had a load of. Uh, on one farm, there was a load of really small buildings that had, we would keep sheep in over the winter. Quite low little things. So you can never get a telehandler or anything in, but that little guy could get right into the back to clean them out. Harry, I'm doing well, buddy. How are you doing today? FUs, what's going on, my man? Welcome on into the stream. How is your Saturday going today? That's, uh, it does help to keep the front mower engaged when you're trying to mow silage down. That is a pro tip there from me. You can have that one for free. If you have 100 grand, what tractor would you get? Jeez, for 100 grand, you're not going to get too much of a tractor these days. Um... You know what? I would probably... I'd be inclined for that amount of money to go old school, actually. Uh, buy, like, a really, really nice uh, John Deere 7810, I think. Go old school, get it all trimmed up, get it all restored if needed. Uh, make sure it's got all looking perfect inside. Make sure the engine mechanically is doing fantastically well. And then just have a beautiful old tractor like that. If you could find one of those common rail 50k models as well then ooh, i'd be away to the races they're 
a bit harder to find if all if my memory is correct yeah i mean that way as well you'd still get plenty of power you get plenty to run with but you would still have you'd have a nice machine as well which was still able to have a, uh, some of the uh you could still get some form of gps on there and you still be able to function with it 1918 i'm going to move to ireland to build a farm with oh you did tell me that actually yes yeah that'd be quite a story to follow I'm doing well, thank you, Harry. How about yourself, buddy? What's going on? Well, that's first field done. That's always a treat. If I had a chance to add a brand into FS, what brand would you like to see? Ooh. Good question. Uh, brand would I like to see? What do we not have? I mean, it's tricky. Like the, the the British farmer in me would love to see, uh, you know, maybe a, a a McHale or something. But I think there's bigger op opportunities out there with like a Kubota. That'd be pretty cool. A lot of different machinery there. I'd like to see a bigger, maybe not new, a new brand, but maybe an emphasis on some more a variety in like self-propelled sprayers for example because we only have like the really big american ones having some agrifax in there for example or some nice uh an amazon self-propelled sprayer because they look really good They're the like uh, the, the big uh, horse self-propelled sprayers something like that would be pretty cool to see a little bit more emphasis on those Ooh, nice lead Michael Savage, what's going on, bud? How are you doing today? International in the game. Seeing like a vintage range of international tractors in there would be pretty cool from your, uh, you know, from the, the smaller vintage machines that up to when you get into the 885s, the 956s, the 1056 and all that range as well. Hey, that'd be pretty cool. Also some of the old IH uh, mowers or balers as well for, uh, from across the, the continents. That'd be pretty neat to see. Peter Barryman is going very well. Thank you, buddy. How are you today, sir? Welcome to the stream. Andrew's here as well. How are you doing, Andrew? Welcome, welcome, welcome. 52 of you in chat. Thanks, everyone, for joining in. We're just busy knocking down field 43 with a questionable yield, but we'll get some muck on slurry onto this after we're uh, after they're all cleared. Uh, Lord knows there'll be a lot of it. Oh, I'm doing well, bud. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Uh, lots to crack along with for silage here. We've got a lot of bales that we need to get made, so it's going to be quite fun to get into that one. But we'll try and do one more headland round here. Never like to get too close to the the edge with the front mower. This field doesn't look the best, though. I'll be honest. We have a Prova 175 2021 out on demo. Nice. Nice. Yeah, those are a lot of people like the new Puma range, actually. Good, great value for money there. Great comfort. Great, uh, a lot of uh, easy to use and accessible uh, controls. Did a lot of good things. What map is this there, Andrew? We are in Challenton Valley. We're up by uh, Autumnwood Farm. Is where we are. Right, right here. Kind of southwest-ish. So tomorrow we're going to be bringing a new video from uh, Frank on the Dairyman's Diary. So that will be coming out. Uh, Supposed to come today, but ran out of time. And also, when we did try and get one recorded there, it recorded absolutely nothing because of the Windows update. So that was good. Fisher J, looks like I've broken my game sense. Uh oh. What have you done? What have you done? Old New Holland like on Clydes? Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh. Okie dokie. Catch you later, FUs. It is a beautiful map. Yeah, it's the cracking map. Now, possibly with all the add ons there and all of the, uh, the, you know, the advancing ability of Oxford and David, it, it's, it is probably the map of FS19, in my opinion. Uh, absolutely stunning map. I, I have a, as you all know, there, we've got a Deadly server on this map as well, which has been going great, uh, guns 
growing from strength to strength there as well there. and it just has the ability to kind of keep you captive for so long because you can just farm a different area there's 10 different farms 10 farms i think uh, that you can really get stuck into there so it's it's perfect for that has there been a release date no not yet i would imagine that we'd find that out more so on FarmCon, which is in june i think end of june uh that's gonna be a virtual event again this year there so typically we find out a lot more information in june so stick out for that one and usually i think what they'll typically do is show the 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 video or the trailer and a bit more about it on the sunday i think it's a friday saturday sunday event there so that's what i would say do i like david browns i'm have never driven a david brown i've got nothing against them but never had a sitting one let alone a drive of one yeah i would expect you're, you're gonna see um fs22 arrive either late october november middle of november is my guess uh i can't find the line that you changed the mods for the name Ooh, the sim guy welcome buddy i'm doing well thanks man how are you hope all is well good to have you on board another round there's a beautiful library pro Over 885, nice! Sounds awesome. What do you think of the new masses? Oh, Vin. Fantastic. Absolutely lethal. The, I, I can't wait to see it. A little bit disappointed that the 8S didn't make it through to uh, FS21. Can't lie. Well, FS19, sorry. But can't wait to see it in FS22. Really, really calm. I think I will just have a fleet of Masseys. Of all 8S Masseys. And I'm going to enjoy it as well. My favorite tractor sim guy would be a... Would be a Massey. Uh, you'd be looking at a... Uh, oh, which way are we going to go? Let's do this way. Uh, 6480 tier 2 Massey currently. Although that 8S may well... Uh, may well change things. And then, you know what? We're just going to take this strange little dog leg off here for now. Perfect. Hey, Nate, what's going on, bud? How are you doing today? Roleplay, thank you very much, my man. We'll see you in the next one. Likely going to be midweek. Uh, we'll probably be doing something on the other channel as well before then as well. So watch out for that. Have I ever done a Massey farm previously? Uh, do you know what? No. And I don't know why. I think one of the reasons that I just couldn't find enough good quality Masseys in mod format. Apart from obviously the in-game models. I think that was the reason. That may change. Cash Ivan, hello, welcome. I hope I pronounced that properly. Probably didn't. Andrew, what's going on, buddy? How you doing there? Do I like Massey 135? Yes, definitely. I love Peter J's Massey packs of late as well. That's really good. I'm doing well, thank you, Nate. Doing very, very well. Always doing well when I get the stream. That's always a good sign. All right, let's... Uh Try and even this side up a little bit here. We're going to have to do more of that. Hello. In line with that uh, telegraph pole. Got the concentration face on. There you go. Hey, Paul. How are you, my man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to hear, Andrew. How's things with you, Paul? Gaming only modern, hello! How are you? Welcome to the stream. Oh, missing a bit, missing a bit. I'm missing a bit. It's okay. Let's do and get this little field knocked down. Then I think we'll just change it up there. We'll jump on into the rake, get this one rake. The rake's up the other farm, but we can bring that down soon enough. 
Do you have a real farm, Andrew? Not anymore. No, we used to. We used to. Lasava, hello. How are you doing, bud? Welcome to the stream. Hope all is good. Good to hear, Paul. We made it. We survived the Prem. We... Steve-O did not get us relegated, surprisingly, which is always good. What John Deere am I in? I'm in a John Deere 6820. This one is available. There you go. This one's available. There's a link in my Discord uh, mod section. Scrape through for another year there, hey, Paul? We'll see. We'll see how we get on. Hopefully tomorrow there we can get a... Uh, get another win in, under the belt, but we'll see. Have I seen the five years in real life? No, no, yeah, actually, I have not. Uh, tractors, we had a variety. Uh, we ended with a couple of 6480 tier two masses. Uh, over the time that I can recall, though, we had a couple of Fords, uh, a Fiat. Uh, we had, uh, yeah, a few smaller bits and pieces there, a few small vintage tractors around the belt, but yeah. And Dylan Massey got 3125s at one point, 6180 at one point. Hey, the gaming farmer, you get one of these. Welcome along, buddy. How you doing? I need to get myself some more sound effects going as well. I need to get that all built up again. I've got this funky soundboard, which on the on my little device here, you use it a lot for the first week, and then it's like, eh. Hey, Jack the Ripper 948. How you doing? What feed do you have? If memory serves, I can just about remember. I think it was a, a I think it was a 190. It might have been a 110, but I don't think so. Nice little thing. I did see their, uh, they're, they're stuck down in League 1 for another year. Am I disappointed? Not particularly. Oh no, don't fall down. We're not done. We're not done. We're not done. I'm going to head myself here. I am doing very well. Thank you very much. Very well indeed. Thank you for joining the stream today. Uh, we're just going to be doing a bit more off camera work on the silage here, really, for Dairyman's Diary. So we're going to get this field raked up and then we're going to get the baler out. We'll get some baling done. Uh, and we'll see. Because we've got a lot to do and I don't really want to do it all in a video. It doesn't really work very well. Uh, so yeah, we'll use the streams for it. Uh, Evan, good question, hopefully. Uh, I guess it all depends on which maps come along. We'll have to see though, but yeah, I hope so. Farmer well, McIntyre, welcome, buddy. I'm doing well. How are you today? Ford models we had were 77, 78, 40. They replaced the Fiat that we had. Well, one of them replaced the Fiat, then we got another one. Um, and then before the Fiat, we even had an old. Like, this is before my time, and I can remember we had a 590 Massey Ferguson for a while there. It was good. There you go. But yeah, definitely with... Uh, hey, there's new news out today there from Oxy about a new map that's coming as well. Whether or not that's going to end up on 19 or 22, we don't know yet, but I would assume 22. But yeah, that looks like it's going to be really quite something. So look forward to seeing how that works. They want to stay in that league. <laughs> yeah, I think they might be there for a while. It's difficult to come up from those leagues, that's for sure. Uh, we were mixed, Evan. We were uh, beef cattle and uh, sheep. Uh, a little bit of, well, quite a, about a third of arable in there as well. Did you change that old JCB uh, to the new TM? I've changed it on here, yeah. So we've got the TM320 on here. So why do you stop farming there? Oh, a few different family reasons we sold up. Um, it was three farms with my uh, with the families working them as well and some retired and yeah it just didn't work out the way we uh i would like to have too but such is life uh no clue on that one actually at yeah, farming no no uh what am i looking for the rake which is up here all oh, the barley i've got in the ground here as well 
love proceed just love looking at you can see when i didn't have proceeds set up can't you uh okay so we're gonna come up to here so this is the tm that we're using at the moment which is quite a nice one uh this is the building site that will eventually be a new shed for the yard here i'm just still figuring out how that's going to work and what it's going to look like um but yeah that's uh, looking pretty that's where we last left it that's so need to do a little bit of work with that it is f strain too yeah i figured also he he released shamrock valley in the back end of 17 there and it didn't get pushed through testing quick enough so it didn't really get a fair run of it at this point if you're building the map i think you've just got to leave it uh do as much as you can now and then redevelop it for uh, the new platform whenever it does arrive captain lt88 what's going on buddy welcome to the stream hope all is well go and book it down these hill look at all the grass we've got to do up here as well so there's certainly a lot to get cracking with at some point hey jake welcome along my man how are you good to have you here as always around the corner we go catch you later evan Would you like the Tom Pemden farm map life? Yeah, that map's not going to come. It would be nice to have it. Uh, it's not going to... We won't see that, unfortunately. Uh, is that the way? Uh, Old Oak Farm for you? Yeah, Old Oak's a good farm. The two farms that I've had, I love. I uh, really do. Oldenwood and... Uh, and Old Oak. Also... Autumnwood's a good starting point because you get calves on here as well, so that's always nice to jump on into. Uh, the other one which I would certainly recommend as well would be uh, over... Oh, I forgot I mowed this field down. Boom, boom, boom. Three done here. Look at me go. Uh, the other one which would be a good one to have as well would also be uh, Pine Creek. Up here. Uh, that one's a good one because, again, you can have cattle up there as well. Nicely out of the way there. Not too big from a, a purchasing standpoint as well. Doesn't cost the world, it's 156,000. But if you're starting out from like 500 grand, as per the debt free farm rules, I can't recommend starting here hard enough. It's 12,500 pounds. That can be your yard straight away. Uh, it's a great starting point there. I really would recommend starting there. Uh, now, what we're going to do is just rake up the, the rows first. Yeah, exactly, and I felt like Shamrock Valley just didn't get a good enough run of it uh, last time out there. And I don't blame Giants for it either. Giants have got a lot of work to do with their, uh, with whatever the next platform will be. So they, at some point now, they're going to stop testing and it's going to get just left. So yeah, why why rush it? Am I related to Simate Gaming? No. You mean Simate or Simulate? Because the answer is neither for both of them. Hey, Sarah, how you doing? Welcome along. Would you prefer Autumnwood or Old Oak? I would... Autumnwood for me, it just has a few more options there. Nice to lay out of the farm. A few more storage options as well. Uh, I have converted and, and altered both the farms a little bit, though. I uh, must be honest. But yeah, that's where I would certainly start. And we go. Alrighty then. Lovely little setup, the 6632. Do like this an awful lot. Hey, Rory, it's alright, mate. You made it. Welcome along. Hope all is well. Kieran, yes, sir. Welcome. Thank you very much. Okie dokie. So we'll leave just enough to do two headlands that way. Okay, okay, hello, welcome, welcome, how are you? Hope all is good. There you go, it's a bit better. Steve's, oh lord, Steve's, hello. Welcome back, buddy, how you doing? It's been a while, trouble's in the house. How long are you going to be going for? Roy, good question, I'd probably say 
Uh, what time is it now? About another hour just under. Would be probably about what we're looking at. What's my favorite map? It would be... Uh, it would be Challenton. And do you know what? The, the funny thing is, it's Challenton, and then I'm honestly thinking closely followed up by Greenwich Valley, just because Greenwich Valley was the first major big map, which kind of came out of nowhere and was brilliant. And it kind of set the idea of going for a full 2x2 two two map there with lots of fields and lots of different locations. Hello there, sir. Nameless Ghoul. Welcome. You get one of those. On How you doing? Uh, Rory, will I be doing an Xbox server? I don't have an Xbox at the moment, so probably not. Maybe one day. Ooh, uh, Steve, if you can, uh, would you mind sending it across to my Discord? The only reason being I don't actually have access to that Facebook at the moment because uh, for security reasons, Facebook locked my account and they won't respond to me to allow me to uh, unlock it. That's fun. So yeah, set, DM it either Discord or Instagram or something. See it on there. Around we go. Been playing Rocket League. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Missed a bit. Missed a bit. How's that been working out for you? Cheers, Steve. Why don't you do a collaboration with Dagwin? Good question. Uh, it's really not up to me. I would love to do one. Uh, it's got to be up to Dagwin to do one, really. Um, but yeah, anytime if he's ever willing to do it and if he's ever watching this, I'm all I'm all over that. I'm definitely keen to do it. Uh, why wasn't there a video today? Good question, Aaron. Two reasons. Two, two reasons slash excuses, if you like. Uh, the first one being that I was up against a bit of a tight schedule today. The second one is that Windows updated everything and then unbeknownst to me I did a whole recording quickly to try and rush one in for today and it didn't record any sound so that was a little rage inducing I'll be honest so um, that is why there is another second uh, another video today but we'll be back with one tomorrow uh, and then we'll try and get Saving Ground as Farm turned around tomorrow so you can get that on Monday just to get caught up Oh, Clutch Simulations is here. Hello, sir. You get ascended as well. How are you, buddy? Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you haven't done so, folks, Clutch Simulations at DJ Gohammer are doing a lovely little podcast at the moment. Great fun to go and sit in that. Make sure you go and check that one out. Uh, really is good fun there. And also just make sure if you're ever up late in the day in the UK there, go and check out a stream by Clutch. It's, uh, it's chaotic, but you wouldn't change it for it. It's fantastic. You should interview Chainsaw 100. There's a thought. Massey Ferguson fan. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome. What is going on, my man? How you doing? Like okay, this done. Jack's here as well. Good afternoon, Jack. How are you, sir? Welcome along. Got 67 of you here. 49 likes. We're one like away from the big 50. We hit that one then. We get to send it as well. Hello, FS Landscape, and welcome on in. Never, never a problem there, Clutch. I keep meaning, I keep seeing some of your streams pop up late in the in my evening, but it's uh, it's always at a time when there's a million things going on. Unfortunately, what I need to do is keep working on that concept that Virtual Farmer and I had of creating more hours in the day. We ran out of our uh, gas on that one. It is the real one, Kieran, indeed. Doing well, thank you, Jack. Doing very well. We're just having a little bit of silage uh, catch up here, really. We're at 90 likes. Just on yes. I need to get a new thingy. Steve's, I appreciate that. I'll take a look at it whenever I can. Thanks a lot, man. Excited to see what that might be. Uh, you up. In we go. Let's get this one all tidied up there. There you go. Better. The 
That's a good question, Hazza. I could. Um, main reason being, my recording system is a little bit different uh, than my live stream system, so it's not all set up. I could do it. Uh, might well do it. The Mega Farm, it doesn't, we're not doing quite so much of the weekly recordings. It's not weekly at all now. It's uh, occasional because I want to kind of leave that for the this uh the daddy's uh sponsors to have, kind of have as their own playground really there so we'll do a little bit and uh now and again but yeah i could do that for the next one oh dear uh i'm thinking of starting 500k but will it be hard and challenging it's only it, oh, it's still do it's still doable and that's why you really want to go and kind of buy that little farm shed between fields 55 and 56 because that's like 12 grand. So if you buy that, you've got your shed to put everything into. You don't need to worry about it. It makes it an awful lot easier. It's only fun farm, Steve. I thought it might be. We'll look forward to seeing it, though. One of the uh, one of the gems from the past. There, you got to have a look at that. Hey, Joe McCary. How you doing, buddy? Right, and this for some reason this tractor and this tractor only will not change on the drive control with the, exactly the same as everyone else i've got to use the insert and delete button and it's really annoying anyone knows why that's happening oh there you go cool get stuck into her i do like this setup i've said that a few times there but isn't it just great Oh, wrong one. Better turn that off. Doing it for the gram. Bam. Yes. Thornton Farm. Here's one for you. Thornton Farm was the very first map that I did any content on to begin with. So, if you want to see that, scroll all the way back through all of my videos there. And you'll see the very first content I did there as well. Which was an awful long time ago. But, uh, yeah, that was good. Well, I just went the wrong way. That's fun. And we go. Are you looking to bring it to all platforms, there, Steve? Is it coming to PC only? What's your plan? Re-download a bunch of stuff. Ah, boo. All right, let's not prang my discs. Oh, my rotors off of there. That would be a good strong start. There you go. Nice, Steve's nice. There's 70 of you in here. Welcome along, everyone. Thank you for stopping by. If you haven't done so, do hit that like button. As always, subscribe. If you're new, I'm Simulation for the Nation. I try and bring content out every three, well, three days a week there. Sometimes more uh, content, including role plays, early access mod reviews, farm some news when it relates to the new version, all that stuff. And like I say, now we've got a few more of you in here. Just want to share this off uh, with my good friends over at SMI Modern. Not the Fent. Uh, this is their new uh, new collaboration with an Italian manufacturer, M-A-A-G Ag, or M-A Ag as I refer to it as. Uh, this is a brand new cultivator, the Cultilam 50 and the Vortex 50 as well. This is uh, coming to PC very soon, it's in t testing with Giants at the moment. Uh, and coming in 20 FS22, they're going to be bringing a lot more equipment out by this manufacturer. But this is just the first piece they're bringing for uh, FS19. Just a sensational bit of modern there. It really, really is. Absolutely stunning. Uh, and also, this drill, this can now seed grass and uh, cover crop as you would usually be able to, but also oil seed rape and wheat, which is kind of neat. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, and there we go. We'll jump on into it. We'll have a bit of a look around. There's a few things to note on this as well. The First of all, you can actually, there's a lovely little hydraulic action there for the uh, pickup, which is kind of neat there. I do like that. I wonder, I just need to bring this up. 
we'll lower down the drill on the back there perfect but yeah i do actually i really really love this i think the detail on this is great if you want to see more i did do a really nice uh, first look video on it uh just to kind of highlight all of the detail with it as well because i think it's very much worthwhile but yeah go and check it out coming soon on to all platforms well, to pc coming soon to the mod hub hopefully in the next week a pie in jamaica costs 250 a pie in barbados costs Oh dear, goal. Oh dear. No one pay nameless ghoul any attention. He doesn't deserve it for that. Can someone make a train a cane trailer pack for console? That might be tricky. One thing you gotta consider at the moment as well. Um with Giants now kind of focusing a lot of attention on FS22, to try and get like a brand onto console it's gonna be tricky even if you have to try and get something agreed through as lizard it might not work but uh i don't know it's tricky uh, that is the standard for a good dad joke though you are right like well i'll give you that i'll give you that but yeah it was terrible I'm going to steal it for work, though. There's no shell on that plot on the Xbox version of Chalenton. There isn't? Fascinating. That's peculiar. Hey, Nibs, how you doing, bud? welcome along if we've all learned one thing from today is that we have a new dad joke to tell everyone because it's the of nameless school so there you go that's something yeah mods will always start slowing down a little bit particularly when we get to the back end of august uh they'll take a little bit longer to but then that's cool you know we've had a good run with our fs19 there it's really seen us through and i can't wait to see what by the time we get to august we're gonna be seeing a lot more farming content around fs22 um likes of uh, clutch here uh dj goham will really start to bring bring out a lot more news so and uh i'll be as a media partner as well they'll be fortunate enough to get a lot of the early access stuff so i'll try and br uh, bring as much as i can to the table as well there because i think it's great that everyone brings all these different perspectives on all the news that we get so we should always do that hey michael how you doing buddy welcome along catch you later paul thanks for stopping by 77 of you here welcome along folks thank you for joining us today as we mess around here listen to terrible dad jokes and get some silage work done uh, put you down there. there you go like a badger on the b bypass don't you know it yeah we've got a lot to do i want to we're going to get this field raked up and then we might what time we're we looking at? We've got half an hour left. If we can get one more raked up there, that's a small one, but we might see if we can get it done. Otherwise, we might just bring up the baler to get cracking along a little bit. I think that'll be a good move. Uh, Kieran, he's probably just lurking. That's what I do when I'm in the stream there quite often. Say hello and then just sit back and get other bits and pieces done. What was the JD problem? Which JD, sorry. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Somebody stop him, please. I honestly don't know what Cathy or why no one has done that. If you can make a good John Deere 7810, which had both uh, EU and European, or, and EU and European, EU and US based configurable options, it would go for crazy on console. So someone, someone out there should really make one of those. Oh, uh, yeah, it's this one. It. You'll see on my, on the joystick camera, I use that leftward um, tap to change my uh, driving control. But on this John Deere and this John Deere only, it won't 
do it. For some reason, it, I have to use the insert and delete key. It's the only mod that I have that I have to use that for. Everything else, it works on my joystick. Hey, Josh, welcome, buddy. How you doing? Just you got one of those. I had heard about that tractor nibs, yes. Lockdown farm's a nice little one, yeah. That's not too bad. How you doing, Josh? Hope you're good. <laughs> that one's good. That one is good. Someone should make a 192720. Are they John Deere's? Go. This the little shorts left now, and then this field's all done. Excellent. Good to hear. Good to hear. I'm gonna try something. We're gonna do some live audio clip making here on YouTube. I think in a second. See how that works. And that's a problem, Ghoul. You're here all night with those strokes. That is the issue. Jake, I'm doing well, thanks, buddy. How are you doing today? Welcome back, Andrew. As well, good to have you back on board. Right then, just a nice little bit in the corner. I probably could, but I don't know where I'd have to go into the key bindings for once. Unless this John Deere for some reason has its own individual unique key bindings, which would be weird. But I'd have to go in and, t and find those ones individually and then change it. But I don't know why it would need changing for just one mod. That's the interesting thing. I'm going to be on top of some verges. Nice, Jake. And a little job. How many fields do you have cut down? Steven, that is a good question. Right now, uh, we've got that last little bit in the middle there. It's a little bit of sloppy rake in there, but hey. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, right now, I've got 42, 43, and 48 around uh, Old Autumn Wood Farm. Uh, I've got field 118 knocked down, and i got this field 74 as well. So that'll be enough to get this going with. Hey, William. What's going on, buddy? How you doing? Hope all is good. Ah, it's Landini. Oh, uh, 27. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm with you. Ooh, those 70 series. Or 20 series. Massies, those old ones. Sorry. Big old chunky things if I'm not wrong, right? MT, hello! Just gonna Welcome, how are you doing? Let's wing it up here for a second. Then... Break on, knock you off. I'm gonna try something, see if I can find it first. That'll be a good one to start with. That's not gonna work. All right. So what we have to do here is kill that temporarily because I don't want that in there. Open up this, put you there. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. 
Did that record? Live audio recording of a sound effect here. Okay, do that. Come back. Bear with me, folks. This will be something that I just think I need for this. Um, No, just that nah, rubbish. Hey, PB Agri, how you doing? Do I play Fortnite, Andrew? No, no, I don't. There you go. That's that's especially for you, that goal. There you go. <laughs> All right, more applause for you. Love it, love it. Okay. Let me pull that back up. Pull this back up. Jump back on into there. And okay. All right, then let's get some music back on. That is how my mind works sometimes. It takes a little bit of while, but hey. Labs is there. Okay, there we go. Let's get some a little bit of lo fi on the go here, shall we? Perfect. All right, bailing time, I think, for the last little bit. Woof, that's loud. There you go. All right, and so what we'll go and do, we're going to drive over to the first fields that we mowed down just to get a little bit of a different shot. We're in the beautiful 7710, as always. That sounds incredible. My teacher pointed the ruler at me and said, at the end of this ruler, there's an idiot. So I said, which hand? <laughs> I'm doing well, PB. Thank you, my man. Doing very well indeed. I love the sound of this John Deere. It's absolutely delightful. This is actually as well, apart from the forager and the young farmer, this is one of the only bits of the class DLC I have in a save game, which is rather incredible. How do you get the license plates and the working screens and the JCB Agri Pro? Is that a different mod? The the screens in there are were, were sent to me by someone else. That is a as a whole, that Agri Pro has been something I've built up and uh, got bits and pieces from others. So uh, it's uh, kind of an, an, um, a, an amalgamation of different bits and pieces. Hey, Will Hegarty, how you doing, my man? Welcome along. Hope you're all well. Welcome back, uh, Sarah, and hello, Leo. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's get this all taken care of, shall we? And away we go. Catch you later, Kieran. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Have yourself a good one.
those affiliate links the discount i think it's actually the same i think all you get from it is the the warm satisfactory feeling of giving me a tiny little bit of a kickback there i believe but what it does do and something that i think is important there is it's it all the money goes directly at the giants rather than steam or focus or whoever else um so at least at least you know that if you're spending let's say 10 pound that 10 pound is going all to giants and not like seven or whatever because steam would take their cut and focus would take their cut etc so that's always good what was your joke sorry i missed that joke So there's gonna be a lot of bills from here at this rate. Heavens. Hey, Raymond, Gatehead, I'm about to start science. Nice PB. Yeah, Gatehead's a good map for that. Finn, it's been a pleasure, my friend. Catch you in the next one. Have yourself a great rest of your weekend. Oh, rubbish. Oh, and hello. You're not late. You made it. That's the main thing. We're going to be going for about another 20 minutes there. So you've got plenty of time here still. Uh, if you have any terrible jokes, now is the time to tell them. This is when it happens. Hey Ryan, welcome! Happy Sunday morning to you in New Zealand. How are things over there today? Hope everything is good. That's pretty bad, Joe. That is pretty bad. This gateway is a little on the rough side, yeah. I put it down to the fact that the river always floods here and makes a mess of it. That's my excuse. They'll make you listen to an entire Nickelback album. <laughs> That's fair. That would stop anyone from speeding. You should mod, Katha. If I knew how to, I definitely would. I'm not very good at that at all. Hello, Henry Elliot. How are you doing, my friend? I hope all is well. Good to have you here. Uh, Henry, you're going for about another 20 minutes or so, give or take. And if we can get this field finished inside that time, then that is the big Brucey bonus. Did I ever hear the map Greenlands? I think I did. The rings a bell. Doing well, thank you. Doing well. Welcome back, Kieran, as well. How are you? You flipped your tracks from that gateway. Will, what speed are we bringing into there? No, you're good. Oh yeah, I missed a bit in this field. Too distracted by the stream, I think. Cathay, that's terrible. That is terrible. Harold boy, hello. How are you? Oh, welcome along. I mean, that's fair. That is fair. Derp does have some suspect driving, but then that's why he's called Derp. He lives up to his namesake. Just tip this bale out the way here. Mystic Exploration, what is going on, my friend? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Get around and about. We 
still got 52 of you here thank you everyone for uh for tuning in I could always just mi I missed a bit with the rake there as well. Not the strongest day from me, that's for sure. Here, you carry on challenging the valley. Nice, man. Awesome stuff. Nice, Carrick. That one's good. With the product key, did you make sure that you are um, removing all of the exclamation marks? If you have an issue with the product key there, what you can do is contact Giant Support uh, with proof of the original purchase and uh, they can refresh your key for you. Yes, Henry. Ghost Town Living's great. Glad you enjoy it. Really glad you enjoy it. Looking forward. He usually releases the video around Saturday evening sometime, I think. So uh, look forward to seeing what this week's is. And Sharwell is a large rubber farmer. Nice. I love Sharwell. It's a great map. Oh, cool. Well played. Well played. Magnificent. Hey, Tay, welcome along, buddy. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a good day. Thank you for supporting the channel and watching all of the streams and videos. Always means a lot. Yeah, definitely try that, Harold Boy. That's the next step for sure. Will you try Valtra? I never say never. Oh, I've probably gone over a whole... Oh, that worked out well. You're welcome back, Ken. You must be playing Oakfield. Oakfield's a beautiful map, but it really is. Very good to find Oakfield. Just tidy up these little bits that have been left down here. Keep things looking good after all. Mikhail Fusion to go on PS4. I think the only way you'll ever get one of those is if uh, Mikhail are, are featured as a brand, which I can't see happening anytime soon. I'd love to be wrong on that front. No worries, Owen. It's been a pleasure to have you here, buddy. Do you stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing. We'll see you in the next one, which hopefully may be during the week some point. We'll see how that looks. never too young to start joe take it nice and steady start with the easy things build yourself up there they flip with a big load of bales on yeah that that gateway is good for that that really is good for that uh my wheel is a logitech g29 uh, and my favorite map currently is Chelington Valley. Of all time ever would be Cobra Park Farm, though. Oh, around we go. Round and around and around and around we go. Did all of that little singing and all to get this bit. It didn't count. We're not looking too bad for bales on here. I'll take that. Modern map creating takes a while. The easiest part to map creating is placing buildings down and, you know, making things look pretty. The hardest thing is making sure all the scripts work. Building all of the models from scratch and Blender, that's really not easy. And that's where the, that's where a good map is made. I would honestly start, if you want to make your own map, I would honestly start learning 
download in Blender and uh, learn how to use Blender because that is where it's uh, uh, that is where the the secret is. Is it really Karak? Am I? Is that on Eurovision? Is Eurovision on now? Is that a thing? Oh, really, Mystic? That's cool. I love it. Owen! Welcome. How you doing, buddy? That feels like you're not bailing. You are not bailing. Why is this a thing? That's annoying. About turn. Pro tip. If you are going to use a baler, ensure that it is turned on. There you go. You can have that free. It's pronounced Thai? Or T-Y? I can't remember last time I was interested in Monus. I think Eurovision is something that everyone should experience once, and then that's enough. Well, the UK uh, countries never win anyway. Nice, Joe. That'd be cool. Good lord. It would be nil point across the board if I uh, ever had to uh, sing on Eurovision. Good grief. The Eurovision Song Contest, Owen, is an uh, annual tradition. Seems unfair to call it a tradition, but here we are, uh, whereby all the countries from the uh, european union can submit entries into a con competition for um for a song competition essentially and then all the other countries have to vote on which is the favorite it's a mess and uh, the uk never wins but there's always some truly awful options wouldn't have epic sex guy that's fair okay okay All right, we got about 10 minutes left. We're going to try and get this field finished. Look at all the bits I didn't rake. What an amateur. Good Lord. Oh, rubbish. Is she reading it? Yes. That's it, Fisher J. That's it. That's the crux of the issue with the uh, Euros. All righty then. I do will. Yes, indeed. Watched this video yesterday. Getting ready for the demolition, which is pretty cool. It's all good, kid. It's all good. Okay. Have we got any animals on the farm? Yes, I saw. Do Mister, let's have a look what we've got whilst this is unloaded, shall we? Uh, currently have 204 cattle at Autumnwood, 119 over at Old Oak, and we've got 50 calves as well. Uh, all looking pretty good, pretty healthy. So we should start to see a few more calves coming in shortly uh, when we get through into the winter. There, I guess. 
Not at all. Never, Kian. This is annoying. I don't know why I didn't rake all this up, but here we are anyway. What's my favorite mod? Redford the Farmer. Good. Cool. Western. Uh, if it's a non-machine mod, if it's a script, then it's definitely Seasons. Uh, seasons changes so much. If it was a machine that we're looking for, there's a few good, really nice vents out there. Uh, nice vent 1050. Um, otherwise, I don't really know. Like, there's a lot of... My favorite mod changes on so many occasions there. But yeah, there's a, a lot of great mods out there. But ultimately, Seasons would be the biggest. And obviously, you can tell the impact of Seasons because Giant's now going to include some... Excuse me, some variation into the game. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, this should have all been raked up would have been way easier but we'll get it all finished before we're done here anyway just a few little passes can't say i have that kid no oh there comes the train you will love to see an old steam train whilst you're being silent. Look at that go. Hello to you. Uh, well, I don't think it will. I'm hoping. One thing I really hope to see in the next version of the game is a, a more in-depth uh, variety of loaders from JCB. Not just a 4 uh, 424 or 414 or whatever. Uh, hopefully you get to see a whole lot more of those, which would be really good. 435, I think, is the generic one. Whatever it is. Yeah, I just want to see a lot more. A refreshed JCB lineup would be great. Refreshed telehandlers. Just, yeah, I can't, really, can't wait to see what else is coming. Do it, uh, cool, do it. Hogwarts Express, exactly, flying along there. Might be the blue flying car coming soon behind it. Nice, cool. of course it is. Of course, it is. you just needed a minute to come around to the idea of it, that's all. Never in doubt. Yeah, they are, exactly. I'd love to see uh, a few more of those appear in game. Absolutely. For some reason I left a whole load of lime on the floor here from when we had lime down here as well. I'll need to be tied up at some point. I really don't know what the new category will be. I don't. I'm really curious by that. Earthworks maybe, yeah. Could well be. But then if it's going to be Earthworks, I don't see how that would work because... Um, I just don't think that the, the game engine is going to allow for de deformable terrain, which then, for me, would make it a little uh, a, a little redundant. Orchard farming, maybe? That would be cool. It's tonight, is it? Oh! Wait, is it about to start then? Oh! Uh, I need to get onto that one. Who do I reckon is going to get third and fourth? I don't know, Fisher J. I think... I think Chelsea are on a good push. I do think they'll be good. And I think uh, yeah, after that, maybe... Maybe Liverpool, but it'd be cool to see West Ham get it, I think. 
Someone may well do that, yeah. Steve, you said it was three months. That's the way to go. Three months for the win, as always. All right, let's just knock it off. Hey, Niall, it's all good, man. It's good to have you back. Welcome along. Now, that's not a bad lot of bales there for one little field. We'll take that. Absolutely, we will. Thornton Farm is apparently coming very soon. Yeah, indeed. Indeed it is. Look out for that one. All right, then. So we've got one field bailed, which is good. That's a nice, tidy little start. We've got a few fields raked up to get cracking along with there as well. So we're all looking very good indeed. And we've got some muck to spread as soon as these are all cleared. So happy days. Uh, I am going to leave it right about here, though, for now. Which means we are all good to go. So thank you ever so much for watching. We'll be back with you at some point later on in the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, or something like that. But uh, stay tuned for more. Uh, we'll try and get some more videos out this week as well. Schedule dependent, so we should be good there. Uh, if you have enjoyed this and you've yet to do so, do hit that like button, subscribe for more, and we will see you all in the next one. Uh, until then, though, do stay safe. Have a great rest of your weekend. Enjoy your Saturday night. Enjoy the last weekend of the Premier League. If you are watching that one, it's going to be good. And we'll see you all later on. Until then, do stay safe, and we'll catch you all later. in the links below.